Hey there guys, it's Asia, and I wanted to show you this project that I worked on, or that I actually had made it yesterday. Um, and it's just, I made it from, I can't remember the name, um, I bought, I think four of these from Michaels back in the, they were in the Tim Holtz section, they're not a Tim Holtz product, they're just, uh, basically like a, a four by four by maybe two, um, no, I would say a five by five by two or three, um, inch box, there's a regular white box, um, and I, um, was sit just sitting around yesterday, and I thought, you know what, I, I just, the main reason for me not doing a lot of projects is because, what I'll do is I will sit there and stare at my stuff. And I did this even when I had, you know, all my scrapbooking stuff. Um, I would just sit and stare at it and could not come up with any ideas. Um, and it gets really frustrating because it's like I have all this stuff to use and it just sits there. There's no point in buying stuff for it to sit there. You buy it to use and to make projects with. So... I hope you guys like this. This is what I made. And again, this was just, I'll show you on the inside, a plain white box. I'm not sure if I'm going to um, paint on the inside or if I'm just going to leave it white. Anyways, it was just a plain white box. These were like a dollar, two dollars, something like that. Um, and so I'm going to set it down. I'm going to show you what I used to make this. The first thing I did, I took some of the the My Mind's Eye Lost and Found um, blush paper pack. I took, um, I used three different patterns. On top I used this um, flower pattern. It's in like a, a light pink, more of a um, muted hot pink in like a maroon color. You can see on the top here, and sorry for the light. I'm, like I said, I'm do, I always do this one-handed, so it's kind of hard to not shake it all. And then for the um, two of the other sides, I well, I originally, sorry for the shaking, was going to go with this, which is the light pink um, cream, um, like a maroon color and black. That's what I was going to originally do because then I could have used this maybe on the sides, but I wanted it to look, um, I didn't like the real dark um, color in there. I mean, I like the, the print, I like the colors here, but I just didn't think it was right for the box. Um, then on the front and the back, I used this houndstooth. It's really small. You know, hold on a second. I'm going to put this on my stand. One second. Okay. Sorry about that. Hold on. Jeez, it's not going to work either. Come on. Um, 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 okay, so there we go. I'm going to move this around. Okay, so again, maybe I'll see it now. On the front and on the back, I use this darker pink houndstooth paper. It's all from the same collection from, oh man, there's lots of blue strings. I'll have to go back and take care of those. And then on the side, I'm actually not 100% done because I did mark on this paper accidentally. But I think I'm going to go through the bottom and maybe put another trim the color of this on the bottom just to um, take care of this black mark that I made on the paper. Anyway, it's just a polka dot paper and I did the same on the two sides there. And then on top again, oh, 
Okay. So then on the top, I took some of this um, Goosebumps spray that I bought at Ben Franklin's um, the weekend before last. And um, it's just a clear texture spray. And it really does give it a, a texture. And I don't know if you guys are going to be able to kind of see that. Yeah, I think you can see it. It just gives it almost like a, not a real bumpy texture, but it just gives it some texture, you know, instead of, you can hear the, yeah. So I sprayed that just on the top, and then over top of that, and on the rest of the, the paper, um, I used this Dazzling Diamonds Tattered Angels um, Glimmer Mist. I love this. I went through probably two of these is probably my third one. I like to use this on everything. I love the um, the shimmer that it gives. And I I prefer to buy this, the Dazzling Diamonds, and to make it just because I've not been able to um, recreate it and have it be, you know, um, and have it be exact to that color and give it the shimmer and stuff. So, sorry about this. Okay, I just want to get more height. Um, that's what I did on the top. And then I added this. Um, oh, I just lost the color. Oh, goodness. Um, what color is this? Yes, my nails are a total disaster. Um, I used this teardrop trim that I got from Marissa, and I love the color, and I can't even think what, um, it's going to be, hold on a second, it's like a metallic, it's a metallic pink, a dusty rose, that's not that hard, is it? Dusty Rose trim. Okay. I have to hurry. I'm almost at eight minutes. So I use that all the way around. So you get the gist of that. And then on top, because um, for some reason cutting this was not as easy as it looks, because some of the side when I had you know when I had sat it down. And was tracing around. I must have been pushing on it to distort the the shape. What? Sorry. Um. So I just took some of this really small. And they don't have any in here. I've got these colors, but I took this really small or this really tiny um, kind of a cream colored flower trim and ran that all over the top of the box. Gosh, there's glue strings everywhere on this. I, I hate those. Um, and the next thing I did, I just added these um, flowers that were in this large, um, well, no, not well, I Am Roses kit that I purchased from Jackie. Um, I just used, I took these um, Five little, really cute little p miniature pink flowers. They're a two-tone pink and cream. And then um, they have the little stamen on the inside, a little yellow stamen. But on the three centered ones, I took... I have tons of pearls, but these were just store button pearls. I added the um, second to smallest size in the center of those. I don't know why this is not... It's not 100% clear. It might look like that for you, but when I looked at the camera, um, anyways. So I just added um, pearls to the center of these three flowers. I didn't do it to all of them, just like I said, the three centered ones. And the, I got these again back in, it was probably about, oh shoot, that wasn't very smart. About two months ago at Michael's, they had like a... It wasn't on an aisle. It was kind of like its own little display of Tim Holtz products. And there were these miniature bottle caps. I mean, they're tiny. You guys can see. So 
So I took those, I think they came in a pack of like 20. Um, so I took those, or I, I had those, and then I glued the 12 millimeter um, hot pink pearls in the center. I did that a while back, but I thought it'd be kind of cute on here. So I just um, glued those on here. And then, this is another um, flower that I purchased from Jackie. There was um, this lighter pink, and then I think a, a clear. I bought a couple of these. I bought some in hot pink, some in this like baby pink or light pink, and then in clear. Because so I absolutely love this. It's so pretty. And it's not picking up the full... It looks clear on camera, but it's actually like a light pink. Anyway, so I glued this down, and just one of those acrylic um, flowers. And I had made these stick pins a while back with, again, this is, um, these are three inch floral pins. Sorry. Jeez, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's the glare on my end. Um, these three inch floral pins that have, um, the three pearls on top and I purchased those and I think I know they were in this really pretty hot pink and then there was like an olive um, white kind of like an iridescent white and then um, like an olive green color and I think that was it for these so I took that and made a really pretty stick pin out of it. and again this butterfly here I also purchased from her um, there were several different colors of these that I made stick pins with and this is just one that I made, a, a, a stick pin that I made a while back. And I glued those, glued those, sorry, on the top, uh, or underneath the flower, excuse me. And the last little touch I did was I added this cameo, this pink and um, cream cameo in front, just to give it a little bit of, so it wasn't so plain. I don't know, I mean, I'm kind of regretting adding that. I don't think it was necessary. Um, but now that it's been glued on, I can't take it off. I'm going to rip the paper. So, I'm just going to have to go with it. So, that, that's it. Like I said, I just, I don't know what it, what is up with me when I try to make, you know, even like a layout or anything. I just sit and stare at all my stuff. And I know I can't be the only person that does that. Not that I have that much stuff to, you know, I'm not bragging because I don't have that much. Um... But yeah, I just sit and stare, and when Lee sent me her package of the altered box, I thought, you know what, I could, I can do one of those. So, that's it. I hope you guys like it, and I'm going to hopefully be doing some more projects today, and my kids go back to school a week from, a week from today. No. No. Let's see, today's Thursday. They go back on Tuesday. So I'll give me, you know, seven hours a day or so that I can, um, you know, do stuff with my, and yes, I got ink on my, all blue ink all over my hand. I don't know where it came from. My daughter was coloring with her uh, Crayola markers, and somehow she touched something that I touched, or I touched something that she touched, and it got all over my hand. So, yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much. Um. Please let me know what you think about it, um, and I, I think that this space right here just needs to stay um, empty. I think that it, adding anything right here would be too much. It would look too busy, so please let me know what you guys think. Comment below and subscribe. Thank you guys so much. Talk to you later. Bye.